100 of the Riff Rundown. I can't believe it. It's been quite a journey and this has been so much fun. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Angela Petrilli. I am here for a brand new episode, the 100th episode of the Riff Rundown with my wonderful friends at Fishman. It is such a joy to be here and I am teaching my favorite, favorite Led Zeppelin song today, The Rain Song. Those of you may know that I taught part one a while ago and I was waiting for the 100th episode to teach you guys how to play part two. So today is part two of The Rain Song. We're gonna be looking at the, the chorus part and that outro part. So from the five minute, one second mark to the seven minute, 39 second mark when the, when the song concludes. So we'll be going through that part of the tune. So we are in a beautiful open tuning today. Before we get started, let me tell you what tuning we will be in. We are going to be in D, G, C, G, C, D tuning. All right, this really awesome Jimmy Page tuning. So here's what we're gonna do here. E string, bring it down to D. A string, down to G. D string, down to C. All right, and we are going to leave the G string as is. B string, tune it up to C and the E string down to D. So again, that tuning is D, G, C, G, C, D. All right, so that is the tuning we are going to be in today. And again, this is a really fun run. If you haven't seen part one, I highly suggest you check out part one before we get into this today. I put a link in the video description right there so you can go ahead and, and look at part one if you haven't already. And I am just so, so incredibly honored to be teaching this one today. So before we get started, folks, you know I like to ask a question. So let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite riff rundown that, uh, that you've learned from. So let me know where you're tuning in from and your favorite Angela Petrilli with Fishman Riff Rundown. All right, so let me know. So here it is, folks. You've been waiting for it. The Rain Song Part 2. Here we go from the top, nice and big. So here it is. song. So again, Angela Petrilli here with Fishman for the hundredth episode of the Riff Rundown. Again, if you're enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps the cause. You want to check out all the cool stuff Fishman is up to, including the RS Spectrum DI that I use in these lessons. Be sure to click the link in the video description. We are celebrating today, folks, with my favorite tune with some wonderful, wonderful people. So, Awesome song, let's get to it. So again, the tuning here in Reckless 575, I'm counting on you. Here's the tuning. D, G, C, G, C, D. All right, so that's the tuning that we are in here. So for this, I'm calling it the chorus section. It starts at the five minute, one second mark. <clears throat> Excuse me. So 
I'm blending both the acoustic parts and some of the really, really awesome and epic electric parts. So I kind of made it into one. There is a ton of guitar layers, lots of really cool, the, the Mellotron that's in there, lots of cool bass parts. So I am blending all of the guitar parts that I'm hearing. So if you were to play it with one guitar, you can. So let's go ahead and look at this first section here. Lucky for us, we're gonna be using one finger for the most part for this section. So it's gonna sound like this and I'll just play this first part. Just like that here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our first finger, we're gonna place that across the seventh fret of the high E, B, G, and D string. To keep this simpler for all of us, I am I know we're in an open tuning, I am going to call the string names as if we were in standard, just to keep things easy for everybody. So that first finger should be across the seventh fret, D string, G string, B string, E string. You're gonna let that A string ring as well. All right, we're gonna strum through that. Just like that, let's go ahead and do that again. And then all we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the shape, we're gonna bring it back a whole step. That first finger should be on the fifth fret of the D string, G string, B and E string. Just like that. So these are, this is a G chord and an F chord. So. Let's go ahead and go to that. I'll play it a little bit slower. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do that again. Okay, now we're gonna get a little relief here, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strum, this is gonna be a C chord essentially, the D string, G string, and B string together. Okay, so just like that. Now we wanna keep a very relaxed wrist when we do this, all right? We don't want to be really, really aggressive here because we don't wanna get any other strings that we don't want, right? So, is what we're gonna do there with those open strings. Again, the D, G, and B string. to get a high E string in there, it's not the end of the world. Okay, like that folks, okay? So that's what we're doing there. So let's go ahead and do those three chords. I'll play it a little bit slower, here we go. Let's go into our riff. Very easy. There are going to be a couple riffs that we're doing here and they're all complementary to one another. It is just fabulous. So here's the first one. It goes like this. That's it, right? So what we're gonna do here, open D string, third finger, fourth fret of that A string to second fret, first finger. So that's gonna be it. Now, could we resolve with that open A string? Yes, we could. We could also resolve with that G chord here. Because remember, we're tuned down to G, and this is a G chord. So both are great. I wanna do both. I kinda like to do both when I play this. Um, you could do that too. So bringing all of this together, this is gonna be the first version of what's happening in this chorus, all right? So it sounds like this. So that's what's happening. 
Now, for my beginners who are like, I think that's good for me, I just want to do that, then that's great. You can play this whole section with that, all right? So you can absolutely do that. I'm going to give you now more options, right? Notice how when I did it at the top, I did four different or five different ways of playing this. So let's go ahead and go to, into that, that second way of playing this. And it goes like this, and I'll break it down as always. So here we go. So that's the first part of it there. Very similar, right? But we're gonna add some more really beautiful additions to those chords that we're playing, okay? So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna get that first finger again, seventh fret, D, G, B, and high E string. We're gonna get our fourth finger here. We are going to give this fourth finger quite a workout in this song. I hope you are ready, okay? So, but it's a good thing, don't be scared. Don't be scared, it's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. So the chord will sound this way. With that open A. Okay, it's the open A string rather. Okay. So we're gonna strum that out. And then we will we will release that fourth finger to just playing the seventh fret of the D, G, B, and E strings respectively, okay? Just like that. So let's go ahead, do that again, nice and slow here. Again, it's gonna be a workout for the fourth finger today. Let's do that again. And we're gonna put that pinky finger down now on the seventh fret of the B string. So it'll sound like this. I'll play it a little slower. Okay. So just like that here. Let's go ahead and do that again. From there, we're gonna go ahead and go to this. F chord now with that pinky again on the, this time the seventh fret of high E. Okay. And from there, we will lift it again, just playing the fifth fret of the D, G, B, and E string. All right, so here we go. Let's do that again. And again, this may be a little tough for some of you pressing through this high on the neck. A good exercise here, I like to do a one-handed wave, pinky down, the rest of the fingers follow. Okay, so if we're feeling a little, a little tough, right, in the hand and the wrist and the forearm, okay, and then a good from an open hand to a fist, open hand to a fist, and that one-handed wave, okay? So if you're starting to feel a little and even just a good shakeout helps too. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. Again. All right, now from there, instead of playing the that open C, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pluck the open D string like that. And this is the beginning of a very cool riff. Now don't forget to alternate pick here. Last time. Now from there, open A string. Get that second finger here, third fret of that A string, bending down ever so slightly little snarl, little blue snarl. Back to the open A string. So the riff will sound like this. I'll play it a little bit slower. Let's go ahead and do that again. And one more time. Now comes the very fun riff. I'm gonna play through this just a little bit slower than I did at the top of the hour here. The rest of the riff 
sounds like that's very Jimmy Page. It's very cool. And this again here is these these riffs that we're doing here are the electric guitar parts. All right, so the acoustic isn't doing this. They're just, they're just strumming and just making a lot of beautiful noise. So these riffs that we're doing are gonna be the electric parts that we are combining to, to make this a one guitar kind of song for you. All right, so here's the riff. Very cool riff. I'll play that again. right hand the alternate picking here is going to make this is essential for this riff so really make sure that you are alternate picking what do I mean by that you're hitting the top of the string and the bottom of the string we want this nice and fluid all right so what we're gonna do here to play this riff we're gonna get our second finger third fret of the A string moving up a half step with that third finger fourth fret open G string. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's the first part of that riff. Let's go ahead and look at the next part. Third fret of the A string, fourth fret, first finger on the second fret of the D string. So, fourth fret's alternate pick, here we go. All right, so let's go ahead, do this again. Both of those, we're gonna repeat, we're gonna do the part one, part two, part one, part two, and then we'll look at the, the final part of this riff. So here we go, nice and slowly. string. All right, so I'm going to play this nice and slowly here. Here we go. In context with the chords, it sounds like this. I just love that. I think that is so cool. So now, so that was with the first part. So now let's do it with the second part of those chords. Killer riff, killer riff. So now we're gonna go to this next electric guitar part that is heard within that chorus section. All right, so it sounds like this, and I love it. It's super heavy and just beautiful, so here we go. All right, so with that riff there, we're climbing up, which is really, really cool. So what we've got here, a string, open, awesome. Now we're gonna pluck that low E string. First finger to the second fret of that low E string. Second finger to the third fret. Now, what I'm doing here that may be a little bit different than what Jimmy Page did, again, I'm trying to make this a one guitar song, I strum this. And it just sounds so beautiful and big. I'm not sure if he's doing that, but for this one guitar version of, of this section, I wanted to strum it just to really give it some space, right? And really give it some foundation. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and play that again nice and slowly here without the commentary, here we go. that one more time then we'll get to the second half of, of this riff. All right and the second half lots of open strings we're gonna do this here open D string half. Open A string, second finger on the third fret of that A string, give it a little tug, release open A string. All right, so the whole part sounds like this. I'll play it nice and slowly. Jimmy Page riff after that. All right, so that's what's happening there, okay? So let's go ahead and do that one more time without the commentary. So that's what's happening there. So let's go through the three sections that we've done so far for this course part. Again, if you're enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the like button. It helps the cause, it truly does, it truly does. It helps the cause. And um, again, it is just such, it's been such a pleasure doing these, these lessons week after week. And I'm looking forward to a lot of, a lot more lessons in, in, in 2023. So thank you all so much for making this so much fun. So here we go from the top. Pretty cool, right? Now, there's one more that we see in the chorus. I wanted to give you as many as I could. So, we got a lot of people asking about the tuning, all right? So we are in D, G, C, G, C, D tuning today, all right? And again, this is a live Q&A, so if you guys have questions about what's going on, be sure to click that, be sure to write them in the comments, and I will get to as many of those as I can within the hour. And we'll take some time at the end of the lesson to answer some of those questions too. Reckless575, thanks for keeping everybody updated on the tuning. I appreciate it. Okay, last and final part in this chorus is gonna sound like this. This final one here, open A string to the open E string. Get that second finger, give me a nice another bluesy cool tug there on the third fret of the A string and then that open D string. So it should sound like this. This riff to complete it. D string, A string, second finger, third fret, open A string. And then we 
go to the Jimmy Page riff. So combining those two parts, it's gonna sound like this. And you can strum that if you want. So that's what's going on. That's what's going on. So much fun. All right. So let's go ahead and do the whole thing, shall we? So here we go. Chorus, this again starts at the five minute, one second mark on the album, Houses of the Holy. So here we go. fun such a cool riff i agree i agree so let's kind of give those hands a break as we hit the the halfway mark here on today's on today's hundredth episode of the riff rundown everyone thank you so much for being here so that's that first part so after that chorus happens we go into verse four and again if you haven't listened to part one of the of the, the rain song go on my youtube channel and be sure to find it and you can learn it there, we broke it down for an hour, so it's all there for you, and uh, it's good stuff. Good times, good times. All right, so let's see. So again, today's question was, where are you tuning in from, and your favorite riff rundown throughout these last two plus years? What's been your What's been your favorite? So let's go ahead and answer some answer some questions that you got. We'll take a few minutes here, and then we'll get to this the outro and the ending of the riff rundown. So let's see where everyone's. Tuning in from today, we got Long Beach, we got Germany, we got New York. Mary Jane's Last Dance was your favorite riff rundown. That was one of my favorites to teach too. Glad you enjoyed it. Dudley's is from Ontario, and he said the Rain Song Part One was my favorite. Awesome, awesome. All right, we got Santa Cruz in the house. Tennessee Whiskey, that was another fun one. I enjoyed teaching that one quite a bit. Again, that was my interpretation of the tune. And again, those of you who haven't seen some of these lessons, you can go to my YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and. You can check them all out there. Uh, all right, we got Jim from Michigan. Fantastic. Hal from Georgia. Rain Song Part One. Awesome. In My Life, Anne Marie Patton. Thank you, Anne Marie. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. All right, <laughs> Craig Manning <laughs> from Ontario. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh my gosh. The, sometimes the YouTube, uh, they don't quite get the. Uh, Subtitles correct, and he found a he found a funny subtitle I did a couple weeks ago. It's still funny to me. That's great. Um, all right, every, everyone's really enjoying the Led Zeppelin riff rundowns. I'm glad Led Zeppelin's some of my favorite. Oh, it's my favorite music to play. Oh well, Fleetwood Mac. That was the first riff rundown, Kirk. Glad you enjoyed it. Glad you enjoyed it. That was the first one I ever did. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, thank you all so much. Again, this is a live Q and A too. So if you guys have questions, be sure to put them in the comments and I will get to as many of those as I can today. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in everybody. This is really great. Ah, she talks to angels. That was another fun one. All right, seems like you guys really like the open tunings. This is cool. This is cool. Again, thank you all so, so much for being here. Ah, favorite mistake. That was a fun one too. They're all fun. They're all some of my favorite songs. That's why I teach them. Um, this is great. Thank you all so much. Again, getting to 100 episodes was because of all of you. So thank you all so much for tuning in, bringing your friends along, spreading the word. It really does help the cause and know that I am so incredibly, incredibly thankful and grateful to all of you. So thank you so much. We're going to keep doing these. We're going to keep doing these. So thank you all so much. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's get back to the lesson, shall we? So Let's go ahead and look at this ending. Really beautiful here. So this is the part where I 
said your fourth finger is going to get quite a workout and this is this is the part of the song where that is going to happen all right so what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna play through the section before we get into the finger picking part so we're gonna focus on that and then we'll get into the the, the finger picking part where Jimmy Page like tosses his pick um, it's, it's such a great moment I just love that so let's go ahead and, and look at that part so we're gonna break down this outro again or this ending into two different sections okay the strumming section and the finger picking section all right so let's go ahead and do it so here is that Outro. Here we go. through that section first on its own then we'll get into the finger picking part so what we're gonna do here all right that first finger is gonna go across just like we did at the very very top of this chorus okay seventh fret D G B and E string but we're gonna put that fourth finger to work okay fourth finger goes on the ninth fret the high E string okay so that's what we're gonna do there so we're gonna play it strum it through Again. We strike the high E at the seventh fret and the B string at the seventh fret too. Let's go ahead and do that again. Now we're going to go here, bringing that first finger back to the fifth fret of the D string, G string, B string, and high E. All right. And we're going to do this getting that pinky finger on the seventh fret of the high E on the upstroke or downstroke, up to you. We're gonna lift that pinky, all right? So we're just gonna be playing the fifth frets of the E through D strings, okay? And we're gonna do this little baby riff within that chord. It's gonna sound like this. So what we're doing there is we're going to get our fourth finger placing that on the seventh fret of the G string, playing the fifth fret of the high E, our first finger is already there, and bringing that pinky finger back to the seventh fret of the high E. In context, it will sound like this. Let's do that few more times here again if your hand feels like it needs a rest give it that rest we don't want to play through any pain okay okay let's go ahead and do that again now combining that with the G chord at the very top it's gonna to sound like this follow along Okay, just like that, let's go ahead, do that again. Now the next chord here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get that fourth, or the, the first finger rather, we're gonna bring it to the fourth fret of the D, G, B, and high E string, all right? Um, I've seen some people do, place their pinky on the fifth fret, I sometimes like to use my third finger on the fifth fret of the high E. Sounds like that. Um, so whatever, whatever feels more comfortable to you. I kind of like the third finger. It's a little more comfortable for me. All right. So what we do there is we've got that third finger or fourth finger on the fifth fret of high E string. All right. So what we're doing there playing it with that high, uh, the fifth fret on the high E string, lifting it, playing the chord, then striking the fourth fret of that B string, okay? So let's go ahead 
and look at that. Again. Okay, it's just like that. And after that, we've got a little bit of an open string situation as Jimmy Page is switching to the next chord. So to my ear, it sounds like a B and, and then that, that open B and G string to my ear. So it would sound like this in context. Like that. Now you can alternate, I'm sorry, you can hybrid pick that if you'd like, or use a pick to do it. I'll leave that up to you. All right, so let's go ahead and play through this whole thing so far. So shall we, here we go. So think of that as a nice transition into that next chord. Let's do that one more time, a little faster. Okay, so first finger, okay? To give that part a little more context, bring that first finger across the second fret of the D, G, B, e, and E. So that's gonna sound like this. And then we get this fourth finger. Okay, got a nice workout here today. Fourth finger on the fourth fret, the high E. So that's gonna sound like this. And don't forget that A string. Go ahead and play that too. Isn't that great? So that's our chord, and we're gonna strum that through a little bit. We're going to lift the pinky off. So first finger across the second fret of the E, B, G, and D string. And then we're gonna bring it right back, fourth fret. All right, pretty cool, right? So nice and slowly here, let's go through that entire section, all right? And again, for some of you, and I'm even feeling it as well, this can be a little tough on the hand, so take your time, it really, really hurts. Take your time, walk away, come back to it. All right, so here we go. Here it's very, very slight, but it's there. Okay, so that's what's happening there. Let's go ahead and do it again. So from there, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna get that first finger, bringing it back to the fourth fret of the D, G, B, and E string, getting that third or fourth finger on the fifth fret, the high E. Okay, so we're gonna do that, done. Then we're gonna go to the F here, fifth fret of the D, G, B, and E string with that fourth finger on the seventh fret. Lifting it, then bringing it back to the seventh fret. All right, so in context, this whole section will sound like this. So as we're doing that, we're moving up the fretboard of the guitar, all right? So we're gonna get that first finger, now bringing it to the seventh fret, okay? The D, G, B, and E string. Getting that third finger here, placing that on the eighth fret of the high E. And again, this is a transitional chord on its own. Very nice minor chord, okay? Now from there, we're gonna move this now to the eighth fret, first finger, eighth fret, D through high E string, getting that pinky finger on the 10th fret, the high E, okay? And what we're gonna do here is this. We're putting that pinky on the 10th fret, we're lifting it up, 
we're bringing it back down. Just like that. All right. So this part can be a little bit challenging, especially if the action on your acoustic guitar is a little bit higher. Could take a little bit longer to press, like as you can see, like see that first finger. So that's totally normal when you're playing all of these guitar strings. It's fine. Totally normal. It's good for those. Uh, it's good for building up those calluses. It's really great. So let's go through that whole thing. I'll play it through just a little bit slower. So here we go. slide at the end and all that slide is you can get that pinky or your third finger at the 12th fret the high E and just let it slide back on its own no other strings are being played and just let it slide all right so let's go ahead I'm gonna give my hand a rest as well let's go ahead and take some questions here anyone who has questions about this section or anything else guitar related would love to answer your questions um, again if you're enjoying these lessons be sure to subscribe to the channel it does help the cause folks it absolutely helps the cause all right so let's go ahead here okay again taking some of those questions everybody knows the tuning d g c g c d good all right yeah jim th this this section of the song is a bit heavier especially that first part of the intro we don't have those right those really big big whimsical chords are really building a very very beautiful story here i think this is one of jimmy page's most absolutely beautiful songs it's just so much fun to play so much fun to play but yeah, different, different vibe in the first half, indeed. Indeed. But it's a beautiful song nonetheless. All right. So that's what's happening there in that section. I'll play it through one more time, and we'll go ahead and go to that finger-picking section. So here we go. happen in there so after that slide out we have this pick we're not gonna need it in this section so what you can do if you want to be very Jimmy Page just throw it um, when I play it I like to have it nearby I like to just place it on my on my knee because um, I'd like to use it on the last chord because the last chord is so beautiful you don't you don't have to uh, you could totally strum the last chord of your thumb and it's it, it's totally fine but I like to uh, I like to have it close by all right so I will play through this picking, this finger picking section a little bit slower, and it, it, it sounds like this. All right, so here we go. And the shapes are pretty friendly too. All right, so here we go. That's that. If you wanted to just strum that last chord with it with your thumb, it's fine. It still sounds great. So what we're gonna do here for this section, we'll break it down in a little parts. It looks like type of A chord. In fact, at least the shape, and it, it, it is, it's cool to play. So let's go ahead and do this. First finger on the fifth fret of the B string, second finger, sixth fret of the G string, third finger, seventh fret of the B string, okay? So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pluck with our thumb on the A string, and we're just gonna go straight down. With that first finger is how I'm plucking up the, the high E string. That's what feels comfortable to me if you wanted to use other fingers to, to finger pick that, I'm sure that's fine. Then from there, B string, 
G string to D string. Okay? So. Again. Very dissonant, beautiful. All right, so that's the chord there. Sounds really cool, but notice how the, the, the chord shape wasn't too hard. And we're gonna repeat that twice. So far so good, everybody. Let me know how everybody's doing. Write it in the comments, let me know. So we're gonna get this first finger here. We're gonna do a shape that looks very similar for this section. Okay, so think about this. We're at this shape here. Now what I want you to do to play the next section, bring all of these fingers down a string, meaning First finger, fifth fret of the high E, second finger, sixth fret of the B string, third finger, seventh fret of the G string, okay? And how we're gonna do this, we're then gonna get our fourth finger putting it to work again, okay? Fourth finger on the seventh fret of that high E string. Now, what I want you to do here, get your thumb on the D string and your first finger on the high E. You're going to play them together. That's how it sounds. From there, you're going to pull off with that pinky and we want to hear that note right there, at the fifth fret, the high E. Notice how the D string is still ringing. We want this. Let's do that again. Last time. From there, pluck the B string, G string, back to the B string. Okay, nice and slowly here. Let's do just that chord finger picked. Again. Last time. Isn't that beautiful? So let's combine it with the first part. Here we go. So then from there, we're gonna do this. How we do this, first finger here, second fret of the high E string. Again, thumb on that D string, play these notes together. Pull off with that first finger. Okay. Let's do the D string. From there, open B string, G string, B string. Okay, let's just do that part nice and slow here. We're in no rush. As I always say, can't play anything fast. We can't play slow, folks. Again. Robert, you're totally right. Isn't it a beautiful call and response between those two chords? Let's hear that. Thinking of a call and response. Beautiful. Beautiful. Jimmy Page, man, the coolest. So here we go. Those first three chords, take our time. Here we go. Again, a little bit quicker. Isn't that beautiful? So now this next part here sounds like this for context. So no, notice that same shape, 
But what we're going to do here, first finger, third fret of the high E, second finger, fourth fret of the B string, third finger, fifth fret of the G string. Okay, we're going to do that. And again, we're going to give that, that fourth finger a little bit of a workout here with that pull off, placing the fourth finger on the fifth fret, high E. D string, we are going to play at the same time as that fifth fret of the high E. It should sound like this. Okay, just like that, beautiful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do that pull off again. Okay. Now pluck the B string, G string, B string, high E, B, G string. Playing that slowly sounds like this. Notice how that D string is still ringing. This is a good thing. Let's do that again. Again. Let's go ahead and combine it with the rest of the parts. Okay, so here we go. speed. Let's do that again. Okay, so now we're going to do here, get that second finger placing that on the fifth fret of the A string. All right, we're going to get our third finger here, fifth fret of the B string, and it's going to sound like this. how that shape we're walking it down so we're gonna do here okay fifth fret second finger fifth fret of the a string third finger fifth fret of the b string so what we're gonna do pluck the a string pluck the d string okay notice their octaves okay so a string d string b string a string, D string, I'm sorry, A string, G string, B string, high E string. There we go. Let's do that again. Again, A string, open G string, B string, high E string. There we go. We're live, folks. Okay, so that's that. Bring it back a half step, now to the fourth fret, same picking pattern. Bringing it back now to the second fret, same picking pattern. Now, hit the B string, hit the G string, B string, high E string. So that whole part, when we're at the second fret, sounds like this. I'll play through it slowly. All right. Let's go through that descending part again, nice and slowly here. Let's do that again. can choose to strum this final chord with your thumb or if you have that pick nearby on your knee like I like to do it go ahead and grab it 
pretend like you're playing an A chord. So first finger or second finger rather, second fret of the D string, third finger, second fret of the G string, fourth finger, second fret of the B string, strum everything. Nice and slowly here, let's do that entire picking pattern or the finger picking section. And folks, we are going to call it a day. I'll take a few minutes at the end of this lesson to answer any questions and uh, happy playing. How great is this? So here we go from the top of the finger picking section. keep it at the same tempo. I know there's a lot of finger picking stuff going, so we're going to take it slow. Here we go. Such a beautiful song. I've been waiting for the hundredth episode to teach this one. I know I was getting questions all the time and I didn't want to spoil the surprise, but I was getting questions all the time. When are you going to teach the rain song? When are you going to teach the rain song part two? So there it is, folks. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It is such a, a beautiful, beautiful tune to, to play. Um, again, if you want to see part one, that is up on YouTube as well. I think I've got the link here. I can put that in the comments right there so you can check it out. So there is the link for those of you who are watching on Facebook and YouTube. There is the link to part one so you can go ahead and put them together. It's a seven minute and 39 second song. Um, so I will, uh, I will let you guys bring those parts together. Again, we broke it down. If you combine part one and part two, two hours on this lesson. So I encourage all of you to, uh, to watch these and rewatch them and get it and keep me posted on your progress with these, uh, with these lessons. So really, really beautiful song. Um, let's see here. So let's, let's, let's do it at least from the top of what we did today. So I'll run through that since I have a few of you asking, um, I'll go through and, and, and play the whole thing from the five minute, one second mark. All right. And again, if you want to watch part one, you can go ahead and do that. Um, on my YouTube channel. All right, so here we go from the, the top of that chorus. And let's, let's turn on my guitar, shall we? Let's do that again.
from there, the outro. section. So there it is. That's the rain song part two, folks. So now you have both parts. Parts one and part two. I just love Led Zeppelin. They're, it's just the coolest. So there you go, folks. Again, I promised a couple minutes um, for questions. So those of you who have questions, I'd love to answer them. Uh, as always, I really want to thank the folks at Fishman for having me do this and, 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 and ask me to do a, a, a live stream uh, week after week. I, I'm just so thankful to all those guys. Really, really awesome group of folks over in Andover, Mass., um, and they make some really, really great stuff. As, as a player, I, I enjoy the gear immensely. I've been using their gear before. Started doing this riff rundown. Um, again, the RS Spectrum GI is, is that little wonderful silver box that I talk about all the time that I absolutely love. And truly, I use it at every single one of my acoustic shows. I just absolutely love that pedal. It makes life immensely easier, trust me. Those of you who gig a lot with, a, with acoustic guitars, it, it is a an essential piece of gear in, in, in my in my book. So I think it's great. And they're really doing some, uh, some good stuff there. Um, let's see here. So let's go ahead and take some more questions. Again, if you guys are enjoying these lessons, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really does help the cause. And, and share these videos with a friend. Share these videos with a friend. All right. Oh, thank you so much. A lot of kind words, folks. You guys are wonderful. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, also did a bunch of new videos at Norm's uh, Rare Guitars. So if you guys follow Norman's Rare Guitars on YouTube, be sure to check that out. Um, those of you who don't know, I've got a, a, a new EP coming out in May with my band, Angela Petrilli and the Players. You can check out some of my videos with my band on, on my YouTube channel too, so you can see that. Um, will the EP be on streaming platforms, Stu? The answer is absolutely yes. I will be printing um, a small batch of vinyl as well. I would grab it, but it's right out of reach. I have my test vinyl and it sounds awesome. We're really excited. We're really excited. Um, definitely bits of, you know, there's a Zeppelin vibe. There's a meters vibe. There's, there's, there's lots of cool, all of the stuff that I am so influenced by, you can really hear it on this EP. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So that's going to be in May. Uh, be sure to go on my website if you want to sign up to the email list. Um, to, to, to learn more about when that EP is coming out. We've got music videos and the whole shebang, folks. Get ready. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah, we're really excited. Um, let's see. Any, any tips for people who have difficulty learning without tabs or sheet music? P.S. Uh, this is, oh, thank you so much. L love the Zeppelin lessons. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I, I think learning with your ears a really important thing too yes is it lovely to apps to have music absolutely and, and, and to read tab or or, or or music charts is really really useful don't forget the just wonderful wonderful tool that you have right on on, on, on each side of your head there the, your ears are incredibly important with these riff rundowns a lot of times like i'll look at music or you could even look at certain tabs and sometimes they're not always correct. So really trusting your ear and listening. There's some great software out there that can actually slow down songs so you can hear exactly what notes are being played and all that stuff, it's really cool. But the ear is a valuable, valuable tool, I have to say, with these riff rundowns. I really, really count on my ear to getting things as close to the record as I can, as close to the record as I can. Um, all right, so let's see. Yeah, the vinyl's gonna be pretty sick. We're really excited, really excited. Again, thank you all so much. It is such a blast. Um, couldn't have got it. You know, I, I couldn't have gotten to a hundred with a uh, hundred riff rundowns without all of you. So thank you all so much. Reckless five seven five. I'm not sure what the next riff rundown is gonna be, but it's gonna be a cool one. Um, I was really focused on getting this one really great for you guys this week. So I will uh, most definitely let you know what it is in the coming days. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see every week I give a hint of what the song will be before uh, before we before we do the lesson. 
let's see, the Eagles. Yeah, perhaps we'll do some Eagles down the road. I, I need to do some Alice in Chains too. I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So that, that will absolutely happen. Uh, so keep an eye out. Be sure to subscribe so you, so you know what lessons are coming up. Again, thank you all so much. Huge thank you to the folks at Fishman. Lesson 100. So, so thrilled. Thank you all so much. Again, wishing you much, much success in your musical journeys. And everyone have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. See you guys soon.